Hi, I'm Mike Eglin. I'm here with Joe Strickland. We're with Barrett Roofs. What we're going to do today is show you the application of our Ram Quick Flash PMMA system. For this job, we're going to need a drill with a mix blade, paintbrush, roller, and scissors. We have our fleece, we have our catalyst, we have our primer, and we have our membrane. First thing we're going to start off doing is taking a measurement and getting our fleece ready. After that, we're going to mix our primer. We're going to apply our primer. We'll mix our membrane. We'll apply the fleece, and then we will apply another layer of the membrane. What we are going to do is cut all our fleece that we are going to install on this wall. The reason being is that once we mix our primer, our catalyst together, uh, and our resin, you don't have a very long shelf life and, and you have to really work fast. So you want this ready to go. So what we'll want to do is pre-cut our fleece that's going to go on the wall. All right, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to mix the catalyst with our primer. And so we want to mix that up just a little bit to just activate and get any solids that are on the bottom of the can up into the rest of the liquid. And you, li you mix it at a slow rate because this stuff will splash. So as we mix, you can see the colors coming up, a dark gray coming into the light. And we we'll want to mix, it takes about three minutes or so for it to completely uh, mix before you throw in the catalyst. So the temperature parameters for mixing the primer are 35 to 64 degrees. In that parameter, you would use two bags of 100 grams of catalyst. We are now mixing. We're going to mix slowly so there's no splashing. And you want to get all the catalyst incorporated into the membrane resin. Continue the application. You want to go all the way down to the bottom. You want to make sure you get down right into the crevice, right into the junction of the field and the wall. And you also want to install the primer four inches out onto the field. And now, of course, I'll just keep repeating those steps until we get this whole wall covered. So it's going to be about 20 minutes before our primer is dry. Uh, at, at that point, we will then, uh, it'll be then ready to uh, install the membrane, which we call resin. The next part of the process is mixing our membrane. We need to uh, mix this slowly to get all the solids from the bottom of the can evenly mixed throughout. Usually takes approximately two to three minutes. He's now going to add the catalyst. Um, it's about 40 degrees out at this point. Um, the catalyst is added anywhere from 23 to 50 degrees. You add two bags of catalyst. From 50 to 65 degrees, you add one and a half bags. And anything over 65 degrees, you add one bag. This is a 15 kilogram pail with 300 grams per bag of catalyst. Once you add the catalyst, you're going to mix this for approximately two minutes. All right, so the primer has been installed and it has dried. It's been approximately 20 minutes. And now we're getting ready to install our fleece. But first, we will put a coat of uh, resin onto, onto the wall. At that point, I will embed my fleece into the resin, followed by another coat of resin onto the fleece. So the resin and membrane have been mixed and they've been mixed properly. I'm now dipping my roll into the membrane. I want to make sure that it's coated 100%. And when you install the resin onto the wall, you always start at the top and work your way down. So if you noticed, I started at the top with my resin. When I start at the top, I can watch the flow of the resin where I do not create any puddles at the bottom. If I had started at the bottom and created puddles, it's really a waste. And we at Barrett do not want you to waste anything. We want every, anything, everything to go on 100% first time, last time, no waste, and you have a beautiful job. Now we're gonna set the fleece. You have to do this while the wall is still wet. As you can see, as Mike presses, you can see the bleed through of the resin, which is what you want. 
after Mike gets that installed, I will follow up with another application of resin over the fleece. At that point, we will be 100% PMMA membrane. All right, so now the fleece has been, been installed. It's nice and tight to the wall. I am now gonna add my second coat of resin. Remember, we're gonna start at the top so that we can control the flow rate. And it's going, this fleece will suck up the resin. So you're gonna have to go back into the bucket, get some more. We don't wanna be bashful. We wanna make sure we get 100% coverage. At the same time, we don't wanna overdo it either. You wanna make sure you get 100% coverage. You know you have the right coverage when you can't see the white fleece, all right? So sometimes as you're using your roller, you'll get into some tight areas where you won't be able to cover that fleece. At that time, you take a, a brush. What you do with the brush, you dip it into your resin. Make sure that, that it's coated. And then all you do is pass over the fleece. And as you can see, I just covered it 100%. So this is just a back pocket tool that you can use and it'll get into crevices and cover those areas that you were not able to get with the roller. All right, so we're doing the corner. I'm adding a little more resin right in the corner. And I'm going to install what we call little footballs in the corner. This is where the brush comes in handy because this is a very tight spot. I'm gonna install this corner fleece into the wet resin. You want to press it in. Kind of just work your way around. But once you have one side done, and you've got it all flat, you can continue on with the next piece. I'll be able to cut this little inside right here. But now you have it fully embedded. You can see the gray coming out. And then I'll make a cut here and set that back down. And we'll be ready to install our next piece at that point. I'm gonna coat over the fleece with the resin so that we have this area complete. We're only leaving about an eighth of an inch of resin exposed above the fleece. And as it's set in, you wanna rub it in. We're looking for that fleece to turn a little bit grayish, which means that it's really adhering to the wall. You want to try to get as many of the bubbles at the top out, as many as you can, but if there are any remaining, it will be covered with that coat of resin that we're going to install at this time. The object is to saturate the fleece 100%. Again, we're looking for that fleece to turn a grayish color. At that point, we know that we've covered it 100%. Now we have our RAM quick flash membrane system. It's been fully applied. We used primer, membrane, embedded the fleece, and another layer of membrane. It is now a watertight flashed system that is ready for our RAM Tough 250 or Black Pearl cold fluid applied. This needs to sit for about 30 minutes before it can take um, any of the systems over top of it. It is walkable completely in 30 minutes and you can put overburden over it in 60 minutes.